Hello everyone. So I have this failing test, where a user is trying to use Cypress commands synchronously, trying to get result right out of it. Of course, that doesn't work. But fear not, it's easy to rewrite it, and it's easy to rewrite it in a style that's super concise and easy to follow. First of all, anytime you get something from the page, from the application, from the URL, you have to use it inside a then callback. It's a side then, it's almost like saying, get this value, then later you use it. Notice it's already correct. But there is a better way to write it, even without using the callback. Think about what this command yields to the next command or to the assertion. Initially, it's a string. So first thing, we can validate it. We can say should include item string, and then it will be passed, right? Only after assertion is passing. Maybe the URL changes dynamically and only changes after you know, some period. The should include will retry until that happens. Now, the next thing is think about the subject. So right now, this is a string. If it's a string and the first thing you do is a call method on it, well, you can use sci invoke to directly say split and pass any arguments after this. So this changes a string into an array of strings. So now these are will be the parts. Okay. And cool thing, you now see each operation one by one. And if you open the DevTools, let's open the DevTools right now, console. If you click on the method, then you can see uh, before subject and after. So you can validate that this actually works correctly. Okay. So what do we do next? Well, we get the last item on array. Now there is no built-in array method, but Cypress bundles lodash. So if you want to get the last element of an array, you can just call Cypress last. Now the argument will be wherever the previous command yields. So we'll call last with a single argument of an array, and this will give us a, a string again. And this is the last part. Perfect. We're almost good, but now look at this assertion. We can rewrite it simpler by saying should equal 470. Perfect. So the way that Cypress commands are written is not a limitation, it's a different way of expressing yourself in declarative mode. And most of the time you can simplify your tests by invoking things one by one, by passing the subject through assertions and transformations, and just chaining them up.